So hello everybody to this NVIDIA update. We want to take a look at NVIDIA on the smaller time frame. We want to take a look at the updated support and resistance levels. So on the NVIDIA chart, we possibly completed a fourth wave here on the 5th of August. Not, you know, I'm not a great fan of that wave count. Um, it just doesn't look right, but it's possible. So a fourth wave could have bottomed here. We get one more extension higher in wave five before a major top is formed in wave three because the subsequent wave four pullback should be quite substantial, should be quite massive. But um, for now, the idea is that we could, yeah, we, I mean, we could stretch higher still. The local trend is still up. It's just that price action from the, or since the August low has become in really incredibly choppy. You see before it was quite an aggressive uptrend, which is part of that overall third wave. And now that we're heading into the fifth wave territory, it's getting extremely choppy. Now that's not at all unusual, but it's just a bit more difficult to track now because we have in the yellow count a wave one, a wave two. It's difficult to really interpret. I mean, you can come up with wave counts, right? It's just that um, it's not high probability. So. I kind of, for the yellow count, I kind of leave the micro count a little bit flexible. Um, what I can tell you is that if this is a third wave, it should ideally stretch a little higher to 160 or even 169. Those are sort of the common Fibonacci extensions for an internal third wave, actually ideally 169 plus, yeah. Um, but I would accept 160. Could this already be the third wave? Just technically, yes, but it would be too weak really for a reliable or a viable third wave could say, okay, maybe this is the third, then we get a fourth now and one more high in wave five. That's technically possible, you know, that's sort of based on Elliott wave guidelines. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. But from experience, I can tell you that a third wave is normally a bit higher. So um, we should definitely, um, yeah, keep the door open for higher. But I have already, in case we get the pullback now, I've added the key risk levels to the chart. So this is the key support area between $116 and 127. So as long as we're holding it, the focus could be on higher. And um, I mean, it's at the moment unclear if the fourth wave has already started. I would prefer an extension in the third from a from a bullish point of view before the fourth wave starts. But you know, as I said, it's it's a valid. Even even the third wave could have topped already. It, it is a valid assumption. So I want to give you the support area also as a signal area or signal level that if broken to the downside would be an indication to tell us that a more substantial price top has possibly already formed. So any break below $116.40 there, if it's a sustained break would indicate a more substantial price top has actually formed. And that would then be within the white B wave because this can definitely be counted complete as a WXY structure there in a B wave before we go down lower. So a lot will depend on that $116.40 level. Yeah, that was the NVIDIA update. Hope you enjoyed the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, feel free to check out the stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.